Hey everybody, Salema Masakella here, and we are back. And here we go, we're off and running. Cam Zink on course. Woo! Sorgi upside down, perfect landing. The most incredible thing with Rebel Rampage is that it's the riders that build the lines, and that's why Rampage is so gnarly. It's because here these guys get to pick what their limit is, and every year it blows our mind. We first started working on Rampage about five years ago. It started there with trying to add value to the event broadcast so people at home can get a better idea of the depth of these jumps, how gnarly this terrain is. And it went from doing virtual reality to then augmented reality. And now we're at Broadcast AR where we're integrating the game engine with the live broadcast. This mountain is incredibly treacherous, gnarly crevices. The only way to capture that was with photogrammetry. We used a phase one 100 megapixel camera on this drone. There's actually only one of them in North America. And we got an insanely high detailed model that was 2.6 billion polygons with over 200 8K textures. As the riders are sculpting the mountain, we're actually scanning it down to sub-millimeter accuracy, ingesting that data to do a quick turnaround for broadcast, which needed an optimized pipeline. We use reality capture to do that. The big innovative thing that we did this year was the set extension. We brought out a stipe tracker. We did an encoded jib that we were able to fly over the top of the virtual mountain with our rider lines overlaid, and the mountain in and of itself, being an antagonist of this entire event, gave the mountain its own stage to the left of the host set, so the character, antagonist of Rampage, is front and center. I'm standing inside the best new thing at Rampage 2021. This is our virtual Rampage. This is basically Rampage inside of a Fortnite bodysuit that will allow you, the viewers at home, to experience Rampage almost as if you're standing on the mountain itself. By bringing in this AR technology, we're allowing ourselves to like really expand to a broader audience for them to understand the scale of this event and really get into it. So there's really two components to this. There's the stage where you'll see the virtual mountain there. And then there's also the flyover graphics, which allows the viewer at home to see the lines that the riders are going through from top to bottom. As gnarly as it gets, it's the steepest, most uninterrupted shoot there's ever been at Rampage. Of course, we were talking about that in 16. So I think having the combination of those graphics plus what's on the stage with our host pointing out certain features really gives the viewers a much more enhanced perspective of the course. Now, after 10 days of the, the dig teams and the riders figuring out their lines, 11 of our 12 riders have decided to ride in one of our two zones, the red zone, which takes place in the central part of the mountain. Only Reed Boggs will be in the blue zone. So the, the virtual flyovers uh, are really the most key to me and the camera guys, and then ultimately to the viewers. You get to slow it down and go on the roller coaster ride with him and milk that just a little bit more on the really tricky parts of his run. It's kind of limitless what you can do and figure out. This year, we really changed it up. We used different virtual lenses. We we're able to get the camera right down on the dirt, get tons of foreground elements flying through the frame as we're running through the lines, and just give it a different energy. We pulled Cam Zink in to look at these lines, the gnarliest rider out there, and we could hardly get him out of the computer room to work on it. Yeah. Especially for people that don't get to experience it, so it then she kind of puts it into perspective. We can dive right into those jumps. They can do a tactical analysis of what's going on in that area and give people at home a better idea of what's going on because we can't fly cameras all over and get, you know, dive right in on those spots like we can. So we, we can do that with our virtual camera moves within Epic. Because these are not playing fields that anyone will ever stand on, we are able to take these technologies and really, really maximize them because the audience needs that. 